apparently this place is located in an area with very nosy neighbors. Yeah, I, I saw you running yeah, over there. Security. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of Egyptian stuff all over the place. What the hell? There's literally blood splatter everywhere. Oh, get inside, get inside. Yeah, look at me guys, I'm all packed, ready to go. Just need to put my shoes on. That's it. Alright, I'll, I'll meet you guys in the car. Alright guys, what a beautiful day again. It's been beautiful for the past week. I hope you guys have been doing well. If you're new around here, my name is Steve Rowan, and we go on epic adventures every single week. Hopefully you guys have been following the road trip because it's been insane, guys. I've been filming a haunted series for you. I've been mixing it up almost every other week. You know, one week's abandoned, one week's a haunted series. Been on the trip with Mo and Angelo. And this is our crib. This is the YouTube house for a majority of the month. So, ow. I left my shoes in the trunk, so that's why I'm wearing socks right now. But today we're gonna be exploring an abandoned love hotel or a love resort. Something that's in a very low key spot for the explorers around here. A lot of my friends have been telling me about it. Like, cause right now we're in the Poconos and the love hotel is about like an hour away. So I'm really close by. I've been talking to you with overexposed footage, but we're gonna be heading to a love resort nearby. And then after that, we're gonna be filming a night video. Which we're gonna eat, but I'll see you when we get there. All right, everyone. She was just made it here to park the car. We have a long hike to do. Well, it's not that long. It's like about a 20 minute hike. Apparently this place is located in an area with very nosy neighbors. We went to scope it out and we were already getting looked at. So we're gonna try to walk it. Just make it a little bit more safe for us. I wish I knew a lot of information about this place, but all I know is that it was open around the 1950s and then closed down in 2006 due to financial reasons. So they must have not been making a lot of money. All right guys, so we just made it to the resort area. I'm sweating so much. The hike wasn't so bad though, but there's definitely spots where we could have parked a lot closer. It's nice and peaceful and quiet here, but still gotta keep my guard up. Feels like a ghost town. I find it so strange how every door has that Egyptian symbol on it. So right now we're just trying to find a place to explore. Most of the rooms are locked. You find anything? Security? Driving around here? Yeah. Yeah, I saw you running yeah, over there. Security. Yeah, so I'm not sure why every door has an Egyptian person on it, but this is one of the only rooms that's left open. Oh man, I have to change my mic and get my loom panel out for this because it's really dark inside. Wow, guys, this is amazing. Look at that. There's a giant window and there's a pool inside. It's like a heart-shaped pool. When you walk in, there's a TV. Oh my God, this is so chill. And look at this, you have like this giant looking wine cup. I actually think it was like a little hot tub area for you and your partner. This is insane. <laughs> Even had a nice little cozy fireplace on the side of it, right here in the living room. This is so cool. <laughs> this is your swimming pool. For your pleasure, the pool environment is automatically controlled. Pool wall temperature of 90 to 95 degrees. Please do not use bubble bath, soap, shampoo, bath oils, or any solutions. <laughs> wow. This is awesome. I'm not sure what these puffy things are. It looks like it came from like a pillow or a blanket, someone just threw it all over. Oh man, that's a deep heart-shaped pool. It's really cute. And there's some wallpaper here too. I guess this place had an Egyptian theme to it. I'm seeing a lot of Egyptian stuff all over the place. You have some mirrors in the room and see-through windows that lead up to the bedroom. Oh, there's a downstairs floor too. Man, it's so bad in here. It's like super moldy. It smells gross. This is like a massage bed. And right next to it is a sauna. That's nice. Guys, they need to bring this back. There's not really much love resorts anywhere in America anymore. I've been to so many countries that have them, like Japan. And I think it's a good thing to have. Somewhere nice where like you and your lover can go to. Okay, let's go upstairs. 
Here are the switches that I use to control everything. Lamps, pool, stairs, pool room. Whoa, look at the railing. Such a small hotel room, but I'm really loving it. Nice little closet with a refrigerator. And here's where the magic happens. Got yourself a standard TV. This place has 90s vibes all over it. Yet again, you can see some Egyptian stuff right here on the wall. wonder if it still works. Nope. This should have been a heart-shaped mattress. Check out that ceiling. It has like the club vibe. And here's the bathroom. Nice beautiful sinks. Had the shower right here. Has like a little pod shape to it. That's cool. You'd be able to sit two people here. There's the toilet. This was a jacuzzi. The reason why I know is because of the switches right here to control it. What? He had a starlight feature too? Man, this would have been so cool. Whirlpool instructions as well? That's awesome. Oh, I love this thing right here. Is that blood? That kind of looks like blood right there. What the hell? Guys, leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think that could be. It looks like blood, guys. Like, real, real blood. What could have happened? Hopefully this doesn't collapse on me. <laughs> That's awesome. It's like made of plastic. You can overlook the living room from here. Whoa, this is trippy. It's like one of those mirror rooms that you go to theme parks. Whoa. And look, this was a jet tub because you have that too. That was for the water to give pressure. Oh, there's a spider. Cricket spider just chilling. All right, I'll be on my way. Oh, poor guy, there's like a dead mouse right there. Guys, let me know down in the comments what you think right now about this place. It's quite small, but man, this is just so cool to see. I forgot my tripod, so I'm unable to take any photos right now. This is way more higher end. Damn. Check that out. I guess this was another entrance to the building. What's the Holy Bible doing here in a love resort? Man, all the furnishings are still here. Wow, you have this massive fireplace. I love rooms like this when they're like 30 or 50 feet tall. It's like a loft. I guess we can go down from here. What's down here? Oh. It's a bedroom. A really big one too. Queen size bed. Your own standard TV. Looks like there's a painting here too. Look at this frame art. It's by a person named Goplin. I'm gonna have to search them up later. Wow, it leads more down too. Here's the bathroom. Still looking pretty clean. Let's see like a wash and dryer up ahead. Let's just try the washroom. Nice and cold down here. Oh, and a sauna. Oh, that's lame. You have to pay one dollar to use it. I wonder if there's still any clothes. Nope. <laughs> I just made it to the floor right over here. It's actually like a three-floored building. Nice. You had a bathtub right next to the bed. It would have sucked if you spilled water. I'm loving the Japanese art. I guess these rooms had like this Japanese aesthetic, while the other ones had an Egyptian. Ooh, let's go upstairs here. Wow. 
right, if I were staying in this hotel, I'd probably stay in this room right here. I love high views. This is beautiful. I wouldn't mind living in here. Ceiling is kind of falling apart here. Probably some water damage. Oh, I just walked through so much cobwebs. But yeah, that's it. Lamps and a bed. So we ended up finding another room. It seems like someone marked them with these strings. Cause the last room also had this hanging. Pretty smart. Oh, this one smells a lot better. Hmm, that's strange. This, this thing is from a film camera. Wow, this room has way more stuff in it. Check out the frame photos on the wall. I like this one way better. It's the same structure and everything, but it's still cool to see. Huh, the door must have been open because there's so many leaves inside. And like the fall, it's summertime right now. Oh man, I love these. That's so cool. It's like sketched down on some sort of silk cloth. This kind of seems a little bit taller than the other one. Oh look, you can see lights. Those would probably change color for the guests in here. It would probably help light the jet tub. These were the type of lamps that would be here. Nice little fireplace. It's a pretty modern one. <laughs> Imagine if it turned on. That's crazy, a standard TV. You know you're getting old when a standard TV surprises you. That was back when I was like six years old. This one's super clean. Angela literally ran inside here. Oh, get inside, get inside. What did you see? I don't know. It was just a man. I ran inside of here, hid, and I don't know where he went. But how did he look like? What was he wearing? Oh, I seen I seen a guy in a white truck driving by. Yeah. So it could have been him. He could be on foot. Now. I saw a dude in a red shirt, and I think he was wearing jeans. Oh, okay. All right. So let's just keep an eye out then. Yeah. Maybe wait a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Covered in blood. You found blood. Yeah. Dude, like, I found blood too. Lots of blood, or a little bit. So in the last building, like this one. Yeah. If you looked at the handle, there's like blood smeared all over it. I'm not even joking. I got it filmed. In one of those rooms there, there was like a ledge, and it was just like drips of blood and just oozing down the side of it. Turn it turn it away. I just saw him pass by. Maybe we should close the curtains. Yeah, close it. film upstairs because I haven't filmed it yet. Okay. Alright, so I need to show you guys the upstairs too. It might still look the same, but this place is definitely a lot cleaner with more stuff inside. So we might find something new. Oh, the bed's a lot nicer. But we're just all chilling now. Honestly, I love the setup here way better, even though it's the opposite. Yo, what the fuck? You guys, did you see this? I was in here, yeah. There's like blood drips on the wall here. Oh, really? Come here, come here. Come up here. You oh, see? What the hell is that? 
That's, that is blood, right? That looks like dried blood. Kinda, yeah. Oh, wow. Yo, Mo, come up here. He saw it already. He did? You saw the, the blood here? I see the blood in this room, no? There's blood here? Yeah. Oh, you didn't see that? Yeah, no, not in this room. He saw blood in the other... Yeah. In the other building. Where's the blood? Right here. Right here. Oh, yeah, the whole blood. Hell? It's like dried blood. Yeah. That's all over the walls, yeah. It's like splatter. What the hell? There's literally blood splatter everywhere. Mm -hmm. I didn't see this one. Why is it? They're all in different buildings, too. Hey, you know what's crazy? What? Look at the ceiling. It's got blood all over it. I noticed that. I was going to say. What the f Should we open it? Hell no. Is there something up there? I'm not touching that. What? They're hiding like... Dude, if that's a crime scene, I didn't put my fingerprints on that. Screw that. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think could be happening. What the f <sighs> Well, now I don't feel safe at all now that we're stuck here, either. If we're all sleepy, you know... That fits three of us right here. Mm -hmm. Bro, can you imagine the bed bugs on this thing? And <laughs> yeah, you're right. We just have to lift it up. Find out. Uh, we don't have to lift and check. It's, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have a black light we can use. Wait, look at that pillow. So Should I lay on that pillow? There's blood on the pillow. There's blood on the pillow. Oh, what the hell? Wait, is there blood? Dude, there's blood everywhere on, on the side over here. Yeah, you're right. There's blood all over the pillow. Yeah, look at that. Is that blood? No, that's not blood, no? guys. That's what insulation from the roof. Okay. Oh, okay. What the like heck? From far, <laughs> from far away, it looks like blood. In the bathroom, wow. it's actually blood. Yeah, that's, that's definitely blood. Man, I love this room. Like, just imagine waking up, looking at this pool view. Go, 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 go. Don't make too much noise. So he saw you? I don't know if he saw me from because like we're inside it's dark, right? Like the yeah. reflections. Uh -huh. It's different. He probably didn't see me. If he did, he would have kicked that door in already. Yeah, he would have been in here. Like wait, he, he stopped, so Yeah, like he hit the door and it's not like he hit the window too. Yeah. He's probably just like checking if Is it clean to sit here? Dude, I'm sitting here. I can't even tell. I don't know about this. Oh crazy. Crap. This place is pretty moldy inside here. Yup. That looks pretty gross right here. No, that's just that's just <laughs> that's just, that's just, that's just steam rem residue. All right, guys. So we've been waiting here for an hour now. Haven't heard anything really. I think it's time we just try and check and see what's happening. My butt hurts from sitting here for yeah. so long. I'm, I'm, I'm glad we also had a nice opportunity to snuggle. I gotta poop. It's been fun. It was good snuggling. Does anybody have toilet paper? No, I actually right. searched because there's some clean bathrooms in this city. This is why I use the toilet before the exploration. All right, let's turn off our lights and just walk right out. Yeah, I think we're good. Wait, I, I thought I heard like a car driving. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, truck, truck, truck. truck. We're gonna run to the right. And keep running until we get behind the other building, okay? Oh, that door's open right there. Have we explored that one? Yeah. Oh, I have. Okay. Okay. You know what? Let's, let's cross all the way to, to that building there. Okay? All right. Go, you go first. All right. I don't think I see anyone. Look at this. It's a basement hatch. You see anything? There's a cop sirens. Should we get out? Yeah. Let's head let's head back where we came from. Oh, oh, car, 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 car. It's getting closer. Dude. It sounds like more than one too. Let's get out. Alright guys, so we're making it out. 
Definitely think the cops are coming now. Luckily that guy didn't see us, but I'm pretty sure he knew we were inside that building because why would he just bang on the door like that? So yeah, we got lucky today. Holy crap. Watch out. Oh my God. Bro, I just saved you. Mo, Yo, Angel, get off the road. No, I don't think so. Okay. What the f- What is going on? I think they are. <laughs> Yo, we just- We literally escaped the police. Dude, they almost ran you over. I like grabbed you and pulled you over and you dodged it. So they might have been looking for us, but they don't know who they were looking for, right? Yeah. We got lucky! Oh my god. Oh my god, guys. They probably know no one drives here and that's why they were zooming. Guys, what a wild time to end this video. Literally got lucky there. I'm sure those cops were for us, but already we were walking 20 minutes away from the place, so I think that's why they left us alone. We weren't on the property anymore. But thank you so much for making it to the very end. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button bell and leave your comments and thoughts down below. I really enjoyed that place a lot. It was a small place, but still I think we got a really cool experience out of it and hopefully it was entertaining for you guys. I definitely want to go back there and take some photos, so maybe I'll do a part two one day. Let me know if you would like that to happen. Tell you what, if we get over 5,000 thumbs up, I'll explore this place again during the winter. Don't forget to check out the gang, Mo and Angelo. Their links will be down below. We still have a few more days on this road trip. Hopefully you guys have been catching up with the Haunted series and been enjoying it. Until next time guys, don't forget to live a life of freedom water and I'll see y'all next time. Peace out.